What is up guys, Jared Campisi with the beautiful but sick Christina K back for another episode of the Custom X Diablo series. Uh, we are heading down to Ducati of Santa Barbara. We're gonna unbox the Terminioni full titanium exhaust system and then we're gonna install the bad boy, give you some sound clips, take some photos, do some riding footage and it should be an amazing episode. Um, if you don't know, basically we customize motorcycles here on the channel. We give them away when we're done. We do it through a website called Patreon. <clears throat> They're just community funded build series so anybody who donates to the project is entered to win them when we're done. And obviously the more you donate, uh, the more better chance you have and all that kind of stuff. All the details are on the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. This is one I've been very, very excited and I've been waiting for for a long time. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, we made it down here to uh, Santa Barbara Ducati. A little bit chilly, but uh, I dragged the lady along even though she's not feeling well. And she's going to do the honors for us. So right here we have the... Yes. Starting off with this. <laughs> Starting off with it. The heat wrapping. The heat wrapping, thank you. That's not heat wrapping, it's padding. I know, it's a joke. Oh, okay, sorry. Gosh. Not very good. I thought you were out of it. No. That's what we wanted to see right there. The Terminiani titanium exhaust system. That sounds so good and actually looks super cool. Look at that thing. Those are the baffles in there. We're gonna be absolutely removing those at some oh, point. Gosh. Yeah, I'm just gonna piss off the neighbors. Wow, that thing looks cool. So it's not a full system, and actually that's where it uh, plugs into the top pipe, or the side, or actually that's the side pipe, and then the top pipe's there. So I think there's another one in here. There it is. <laughs> Are you using it like a gun? Using the exhaust like a gun? Uh -huh. So with titanium, you normally don't want to touch it with your hands. That's why she's being weird about it. Um, but we will wipe the whole thing down anyway once we're done installing it, so. There you go, there's the exhaust system. Should save us about 10 pounds, maybe more. Actually, we're gonna weigh it, we'll find out. And uh, it, sh it should add 10, 10 to 12 horsepower. So again, the stock form, the X Diablo did 140 horsepower. We're hoping to get it over 150 horsepower and under 500 pounds. So that's our goal. <laughs> She's the nose job. She <laughs> oh, eagle knows no more, huh? The snuffleupagus knows. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, guys. There's your new exhaust system. And actually, it was supposed to come with an up map key, which was not in the box. So we won't be able to do the up map today. Manny's gonna look into that for us. Obviously, it wasn't his fault, it wasn't even open. So I think Ducati just forgot to include it. So this is the hardware bo bag. Yeah, and it was actually open when we, uh, we, when we opened up the bag. So there's supposed to be a little box in here with a little thumbnail, or thumbnail. thumbnail. <laughs> a little thumb drive. <laughs> and that's what you plug into to change the tuning and, and plug in the up map. So we're gonna make sure we get that because obviously we'll need to do that. But for now, I'll be able to ride it and hear what it sounds like and all that kind of stuff. We still have a high flow filter coming for it as well. So between the uh, performance exhaust, the high flow filter, and then the racing up map, we sh I'm hoping we can get 10 to 12 horsepower out of this bad boy. So we have quite a bit to do. As you saw in the last episode, this thing was quite a bit of work to get off of there. So looks like Trevor already started laying things out. It looks nice and uh, we're gonna get started. Yeah, so teens, I'll see you in a little. You can come back when we have it installed and uh, rev it for us at the beach. <laughs> Thanks, babe. All right, starting off with the simple stuff. Just adding the clips for the hardware, which will uh, allow us to put the bolts on it. Pretty boring stuff. It's boring, but it's my life. <laughs> I don't know if you heard, but I did over a thousand. <laughs> so first thing we're doing is just testing the fit. Sure and it looks like around. that went on, right? <laughs> yep. That went up in there nicely. Should have had Christina do that part. <laughs> Zing! <laughs> so first thing he's doing is adding some anti-seize, which will hopefully keep it from seizing, right? So it can be removed at some point in the future if needed. So we're gonna do that to every every pipe that's mated to something. And as you can see, Trevor's got gloves on because we don't wanna finger up our titanium. People always ask me why, and it's basically because titanium goes through heat cycles, and as it goes through heat cycles, it actually changes colors. And if there's oils or fingerprints on there, they can actually burn in, and then you have like ugly ass purple fingers on there. Unless it's Christina's, maybe people want Christina to finger their exhaust pipes up, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what kids are into these days. So again, just kind of test fitting it, yep. I'm gonna try not to touch it with my hands if I don't have to. So, he actually got it in there a little bit easier than we thought. Uh, first thing he did was slide this in, and then that allows it to line up with the top hole way up there. I don't know if you can see it, oh yeah you can. 
Look at these titanium pipes, dude, I'm so excited. Um, then he just slid it right up in there. Now we can start adding the hardware pieces and things like that. I freaking love how this looks. Look at that. Got a big old pipe on this side. I like that dual exhaust coming out the bottom. Looks freaking awesome. Termi does such a good job with the styling of their pipes. Look at that thing. So next thing we're doing is just adding some springs here and being very careful not to poke our eyes out. <laughs> you got the top one on. There's the side one on. That'll just help hold it into place here while we start fitting other things. And then I actually realized while Christina was here, we put it on a scale, but I forgot to film it before she left. Um, it weighed 11 pounds. And as you saw in the other uh, episode, the stock system weighed 23 pounds. So this saves roughly 12 pounds. And then don't worry anyway, I'm gonna do a full weight of the bike before and after all of the modifications anyway. Um, but we will try to show what each individual part saves, just so you know. So exhaust saved us around 12 pounds. And uh, that way, if you're interested in trying to save weight on your X Diablo, you want to know which ones, which mods save the most weight or which one's the best bang for your buck. Regardless, the exhaust, one of my favorites, you got to do it either way. So there you go, 12 pounds on our quest to get under 500. Stay tuned. So Trevor is going to start to um, tighten back up the header bolts. He's going to go back into swivel land. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll let him do that. I want to show you guys this side of the exhaust. Obviously, it's not completely uh, positioned up where it's supposed to be, but Look at that beautiful pipe right there. I love that big old honking titanium pipe running up top there. And then um, Christina forgot to unbox this part. Shame on you, Christina. But this will attach here somehow and cover up that whole part right there. So you just see the uh, pipe there, something like that. See there? Hoo, 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 hoo. I love it. Can't wait. Now we're on the other side tightening up these header, header bolts and um, yeah, Trevor was saying definitely a lot easier to kind of just drop that entire belly panel down there and <clears throat> allow access to all of these um, header bolts. So if you're going to try this yourself, make sure that you do in fact do that. But honestly, I would recommend having a Ducati dealer do this pipe um, because it's pretty involved. Anytime you're like dropping the oil, the oil cooler unit and stuff like that, there's just things that can go wrong. You just don't want to screw something up. Sonny, come here, bud. There he is. Hey, buddy. Sonny broke his damn paw. Look at him. <laughs> and, he's, and he's gone. And he's out of here. <laughs> Carlin's like, <laughs> yeah. We can put the fuse boxes back in here. Yep, just pushing those guys in, which is good. That makes yeah. me feel good. Fuse boxes always scare the shit out of me. I like them to be happy in their place and tidied up <laughs> nicely <laughs> with a blanket on. <laughs> All right, next step up, we can finally put the oil cooler back on. He was just adding some grease there, some good old wrench grease. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Don't use that for Christina's videos, guys, or I'll come to your houses. So got the oil fil or oil cooler back on there attached. Got everything uh, buttoned up. One thing he was mentioning is whenever you attach this piece up here, make sure you pre-twist it so that you don't get the lines all tangled up once you screw it in. And then uh, he also lubed up all of the uh, rubber pieces as well, along with the O-rings, which you always want to do just with the oil, some of the oil that was coming out and stuff like that. So we're going to let him get the rest of these pieces attached here and then we'll keep moving. All right, so we got the oil cooler installed. Next thing we're going to do is throw this battery back in and we're one step closer to firing up this bad boy. So Trevor was just saying, when anytime you're reinstalling a battery, you want to do the positive first. So that's what he's starting with. Get that bad boy connected and then we'll do the negative after that. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that right there, that bolt right there. That's the bracket that holds on the exhaust. We had already tightened up the header bolts, so we couldn't, we didn't have enough space there. We had to lift it up and I unfortunately wasn't strong enough to do it myself, although I tried. Um, so we had to actually use a, uh, a lift there, a jack, and then we got it up to where we needed it to go. So now we're just attaching the rest of the uh, bolts to fit the exhaust completely on there. And then we can uh, start to attach the heat shielding and stuff like that. All right, up next we're adding some springs. I think there's one here and then one on the other side. Look at that exhaust just staring you right in the face. And then we're gonna leave those um, baffles in so we can do a start with the baffles. And then we'll listen to the sound uh, with and without baffles, so. So next up we're gonna wipe this guy down. Make sure we get rid of any oils or anything that might have been on the pipe. Uh, from the factory or from Christina fingering it up. <laughs> Although some people might want those oils on there. I don't know. I'm not going to judge you. Uh, you want to show what you're using there, Trevor, real quick? Using that. 
suspension cleaner that leaves no residue. Nice. We came up with a name for Trevor too. Since he's such a man of very few words and he's got that accent, we're gonna call him the Trevenator. <laughs> All right, so before we put anything else back together, we're gonna start it up and check for any exhaust leaks or any possible oil leaks that might come from uh, right there. So Trevor, do the honors. That's amazing. <laughs> Maybe we don't need to take those baffles out just yet. Holy God, my neighbors are gonna hate me. All right, so now we can uh, go ahead and button it back up. Actually, we're gonna uh, what, tape this guy off, right? We're gonna cap that off. Cap that guy off, and then uh, we'll button it back up. All right, so we got everything finished. The install is officially complete. Next, we're gonna show you guys a quick sound clip here with the baffles in. That is plenty loud enough for me, but I know everyone on YouTube is going to ask. So now we're going to pull these out and we'll let you hear what it sounds like. All right, so that's what the baffle looks like right there. It's actually just one screw. And then you can see what the exhaust looks like. Actually looks freaking awesome without it. So Trevor's going to pull out the other one and we'll start it back up. Okay, let's hear what it sounds like now without the baffles. One last, thing I, one last thing I want to mention, um, we don't have the up map just yet and we're going to do a race filter anyway, so we're going to hold off on that because uh, we're going to have to pull the tank up and since we're going to be stripping the tank anyway, we'll just do that around the same same time. But um, it's since it's a slip on, you know, there's no error codes or anything like that, uh, it just wants me to do the date because we took the battery out, so I'll have to do that. But um, everything looks good to go. Uh, we're going to load this up on uh, Trevor's truck and then we'll be out of here. All right, so we came down to the beach and I forced Christina out of bed um, because I wanted to get her reaction. So why don't you hop on this, make sure you don't scratch the tank with your damn zipper. We talked don't about this. You should be in a bikini. You should have just been on a bikini. But that's how the exhaust looks, guys. I freaking love it. It's so much lighter. It sounds absolutely absurd. I can't wait to see this reaction. Go ahead and start it up, teens. Press I don't the, like loud things. Press the button. Start out by saying that. We're gonna piss everyone at the beach off so bad. Here we go. Do I have to? Yes, do it. <laughs> Doesn't it sound good though? It sounds so good. It sounds Gutter all, yeah, that low rumble. Look at that beast. It spit a flame out like two feet. <laughs> yeah. Like yes, deep, deep, exactly. Deep, like noise to it. I don't know how to describe it. And all the pops and crackles. Yeah, it sounds really good. Your neighbors are gonna hate you. Actually, hate us. But it's not that bad at idle. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. But it's it has a very good sound to it. Yes. I mean, I, I hate to admit it, but it does. <laughs> it does, really right? Sound, yeah. It does. It warms your insides. It's really weird. It makes you feel like a man yeah. with some balls. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this one, guys. Um, again, we're gonna be giving this bike away once we're finished with it. So if you wanna be entered to win this bad boy, 
Yeah, with Christina. <laughs> Make sure you enter over on the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. Shout out to Trevor at Santa Barbara Ducati for the install. He did a phenomenal job. I'm super excited with what we have coming up next. Manny's got some, some primo parts on the way. So stay tuned. Thank you, Christina, for your help. Make sure you guys are subscribed, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>